What's up everyone, this is the Apple reseller here. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the difference between the iPod Classic 5.5 and the iPod Classic 7th generation. First off, I'm just going to show you guys the iPod I'm using. So this is a 160 gigabyte iPod Classic 7th generation. As you can see there, 160 gigabyte. And I'm going to be using an 80 gigabyte iPod Classic 5.5. As you can see here, this is a 80 gigabyte iPod. So the design on these two iPod are similar in many ways. They both have the same size click wheel. They both have a 2.5 inch display and the same resolution. But the display on the 7th gen is slightly better, like the colors are better. They both have the same buttons, so they both have a a hold switch at the same place, they both have the headphone jack at the same place, and they both have the 30 pin dock on the bottom. And they both have the same dimension except the thickness. So, as you can see here, the iPod Classic 5.5 is a lot thicker than the 7th generation. But if you get the 30 gigabyte iPod Classic 5.5, it's a it's like thinner than the 80 gigabyte version, but it's still a little bit thicker than the seventh generation. Another big difference between these two iPod is the f the material on the front. This is made of plastic and this is made of aluminum. And on the edges, the iPod Classic 5.5 is squared edge and this has a slightly curved edge. Another difference between these two iPods are the color they come in. So the iPod Classic 5.5 comes in black and white. I have the white model here. And then the iPod Classic 7th generation comes in black and silver. But the black color is not really black. It's more of a dark gray as you can see here. I don't know why Apple calls it the black color though. But the silver color is just a regular silver color like the unibody MacBook. Next, I'm going to talk about the user interface and function of these two iPods. So the most obvious is this iPod has the old user interface and this one has the new one. This one has the classic user interface, basically very simple. And it's pretty much what they use on all the older iPods. And this one has like a modern user interface. Basically, you can have a preview of like the songs and everything. If we go the extra, you could see they give you a preview of everything. And everything just looks more modern on this iPod than this than the older iPod Classic 5.5. But there's not like much function between these two. Like they both can do mostly the same thing. It's just this iPod looks more modern, but and this iPod looks more classic. And function-wise, these iPods are actually very similar. They, they both can play like music and video, and they both have very similar function, but there are actually a few differences in function between these two iPods. So the first difference is that this iPod has cover flow, and this one does not. So as you can see there, the, iP the, class, the 7th Strand Classic has the cover flow, and this one doesn't. This iPod also has Genius Mix. Basically, you can create your own. It'll create like a playlist for you based on your what you listen to and everything. Pretty much just makes a playlist for you. Another difference is this iPod has alarm clock. The 7th Gen has alarm clock, but the 5.5 does not. So if we go to Extra, in case you're wondering why I'm clicking this iPod hard is because this button is a bit busted, so I have to use two hands to click it. As you can see here, there's alarm, and then this one does not. And even if we go to the clock app, there's no alarm clock. As you can see here, it's just to set different time zone. So you can use this as an alarm clock, but you cannot use this one. And another difference is the game. This iPod has has like better games and like more intensive games than this. So this have like basically the classic games on the older iPod and 
this iPod has more intensive games. Another two difference between these two iPod is that the iPod Classic 7th generation supports the earphone control and you can use it as a voice memo, but you need an earphone. So I will show you guys. As you can see here, when you plug in a pair of earphones, you get the voice memo. So you can like record voice with it. And then also this supports the earphone control. So as you can see here, you can turn up the volume and turn down the volume and you can play and pause the song. But if I were to put the earphone jack in here, you won't be able to do that. As you can see, you don't get any voice memo. And, and if I were to use the earphone control, nothing would happen. As you can see here, it doesn't do anything when you use the control. So this iPod can be a little bit annoying if you want to like change the volume because you have to use the clip wheel to change the volume. And this one, you can just use the earphone control. The last thing that I want to talk about is the DAC in these two devices. The DAC basically is the thing that determines the sound quality that comes out of your device. And those of you who are audiophile already know this, and that is the iPod Classic 5.5 has a better DAC than any other iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Although most iPod before, like from 2006 and earlier, have pretty good DACs, but they weren't as good as the iPod Classic 5.5. Even the first-gen iPod Touch and the first-generation iPhone, or a lot of people call it the iPhone 2G, these two devices have pretty good DAC as well, but they're not as good as the iPod Classic 5.5. So if you care about sound quality, then you should definitely get an iPod Classic 5.5. So which iPod is better out of these two? Now, even though the iPod Classic 7th generation is newer, this is more modern, is thinner and has more storage, I would say that the iPod Classic 5.5 is still better and that's because like it has a better DAC and the thing is I think it's better because if you're going to go through like the trouble of using a second device for music because you can just use your phone you might as well just get better sound quality and then even though you may not have enough storage the thing is you can get like a 30 gigabyte model which is only a little bit thicker than the seventh generation, you can open that thing up and like put a bigger SSD or you can get a SD card converter and then you can put in a bigger SD card. SD card. <laughs> I can't talk. So that's why I think the iPod Classic 5.5 is better than the seventh gen because of the DAC. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you like this video. Thank you all for watching, and if you do enjoy my content, then go ahead and subscribe to me. I will really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.